hello, Editing Crafty here. Um, before you all watch the video, I just wanted to give a heads up. Um, decent chunks of the video is going to be blurred a little bit. Um, I show part of the pattern and I'd ultimately decided that um, blurring out the pattern except for like one small section that I talk about would be best because I don't want to get copyright struck from the dollar store. Nor do I really feel fond of giving out patterns that aren't mine. Like, I know it's just a dollar, but it doesn't really matter. It's kind of like an ethical thing, even if it is a big corporation. Um, now I'm sure you're wondering, why did I just not show the pattern on screen much at all? And the answer is because I'm dumb. I'm dumb and I didn't think about it, so... Hi everyone! Sorry it's been a minute since I last posted. Um, I've had quite a few health issues going on. <laughs> Um, but that aside, um, so I don't know, some of you have probably seen it, some of you probably haven't, but Dollar Tree is now selling little crochet kits. Um, my local Dollar Tree does not sell these because my Dollar Tree is like really, really small, but coming back home from one of the doctor visits, I stopped by at a, like, Dollar Tree that actually had an, its own building instead of just being in a mall, and they had like five or six different kits. So this one, it doesn't say what animal it's supposed to be. Um, my partner believes that it is a mouse, and I think it could be a mouse or a cat. I'm kind of leaning more towards mouse with him, but I don't know, it could also be a cat. There's... Let me know in the comments down below what you think this animal is, if you think it's a mouse, a cat, or if it's something completely different that we aren't even thinking of. But there is no label, at least on the outside of the package, about what animal this is. Um, that said, here's how it looks from the back. And it says, Crafter Square Crochet Slash Amigurumi Animal Kit. And it says it includes plastic needle, yarn, stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads. And then it says, a warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. Um, so the first thing that is incorrect about this that I just noticed is that it says plastic beads. Um, these aren't plastic beads. These are safety eyes. <laughs> You can see right there, that's the backing of the safety eyes. These are safety eyes. These, these aren't plastic beads. So, someone who's never worked with safety eyes might be a little confused by that. Um, just saying. As far as the innards go, it looks like there's probably going to be enough yarn for this small project. If I had to guess, I would say that it's going to be about the size it is here on the cover, maybe a bit smaller. Um, but I am worried about the stuffing. This does not look like very much stuffing, even when you unfluff it. I just feel like this probably isn't going to be enough. So I do have some fluff, some stuffing here on the side, just in case. Um, but we're going to go ahead and begin and open this up now. So we have the kit right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up now, and let's see what is inside it. Okay, so the kit itself is pretty easy to open up. Um, maybe watch out for the staples. Like that one pulled up and it is definitely sharp. Eh, whatever. Just watch out for the staples, especially if you are planning on giving this to a child or someone who wants to start crocheting that is younger. Just, you know, be careful. All right. On the back here, we have another warning. Warning, plastic bags can be dangerous to avoid danger of suffocation. Keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. Alright, so. On the inside, we have a crochet hook. It does not say what size it is, and it is also bent. So, yeah. This is very, very cheap plastic. Um, I mean, what else would you expect in a $1.25 kit? But it is indeed very cheap plastic. Um, next we have our embroidery floss and our two little safety eyes and the needle. This needle is super thin, by the way. Like, it, it's honestly not too much sturdier than a spaghetti noodle. Then we have two little balls of yarn. What did they do to it? <laughs> So it looks like this one they kind of tried to make into a cake and then gave up because like the center of it is just really, really messy. I don't even know where the pool... Okay, there it is. 
Um, and this yarn, like, it feels soft, but it also feels cheap. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it is very soft. Um, I do like that, but it's very, very thin as well. And then the pink yarn also feels soft. Huh. So I don't know how well you can see on camera. Um, let's see here. Does this help any at all? I don't know how well it can be seen on camera, but the white yarn is actually slightly thicker than the, um, sorry, the pink yarn is slightly thicker than the white yarn. So that is something <laughs> to note. Um, here is the stuffing bag. It is pretty tightly packed in stuffing. There's some sticking out, but I still don't think this is going to be enough for this project. That said, time to move on. Okay. So it looks like these are instructions for the stitches itself. It says, um, before crocheting, you have to learn some basic techniques. So it looks like it shows how to do a magic ring, kind of. Although I don't really know how useful this would be for a beginner. Um, I'm going to be honest, even as a person who has crocheted for over a decade, these do not look like they are the best um, instructions. So... Just keep that in mind. Um, maybe if you are a beginner or if you are giving this to someone who is a beginner, maybe also send them a YouTube playlist with some instructions on how to do some of the basic tactics in here just to be safe. Um, just because, like, they have some written instructions here, but I don't know how good this is. And their technique on using the magic ring is also different from what most people would call it speaking of they don't even have a name for it here it says follow the illustration and put the yarn around your finger two rounds leave at least a six inch tail until you become familiar with this method method it says hold the hook as shown which like there is no proper way to hold a hook you hold the hook whatever is most comfortable with for you um i don't hold the hook like this, like the way they are suggesting. I hold my hook like this. I'm a little gremlin and this is how I usually hold my hook. Um, I don't really do this one, it's not comfortable for me. And then it says to hold the loop with two fingers, pull the yarn through the loop with your fingers and hook, follow the arrow in the illustration. So yeah, this does seem like it would be, it might be a little confusing to a beginner. Um, what what is the hold up hold up i need to pause this um i need to pause this and take a look at this wait 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 hold up hold up development it is come on please please focus come on focus for me it does not want to focus it says it's a cat it says it's a cat i swear it says to make the cat it's a cat <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I was right. This is a cat. Okay, so do not give this to a beginner. Please do not give this kit to a beginner. This is not a good kit to start. Um, yeah, don't do this. Don't give this kit to a beginner. This is not a good kit. I'm just saying that right here, right now. Just based solely off the instructions, no. Um, these rings here... Yeah, that is the pattern. There is not, a, like, an actual written pattern. Um, it says, to make step one here, and it's got, like, this little round chart here in this circular thing. It says, to make the cat, start by crocheting the legs. Each leg has three rounds of single stitches and increasing stitches, as shown in the diagram. Make two legs and link them together in the third round with the second leg. What? So it does show how to increase stitches and decrease. That's 
fine, whatever. I don't understand why they are showing these illustrations on a chain since they're not working with the chain with this pattern at all, but go off, I guess. What really messes me up though is this first set of instructions here, right? It does not show what any of these X's mean. It doesn't show what any of the like X with the arrow means. Um, so already I'm like, huh? So it wants you to make two legs and they're three rounds and basically you're starting with six. See, this doesn't make any sense. Like as, as a someone who's crocheted for a while, I can figure this out because I know like this is how most crochet amigurumi start. You start off with six single crochet and like there are six X's which kind of line up and it does say to increase. So like it says, um, increasing stitches as shown in the diagram, but it does not say anywhere on this paper, I guess technically this, this is supposed to be your thingy to, uh, to increase. But the problem with this specifically, and I'm so sorry my camera like just will not focus. Um, so I don't know how well you guys can see it. But the problem is that, so the increasing for this pattern is an X with an arrow pointing downward under it. And decrease is the exact opposite, an X with an arrow pointing upward. So the problem with that symbol is they have these X's around a circle right but they don't make no sense because both x's on this circle have an arrow like an x above them that is pointing towards the middle of the circle so assuming the only way this would be correct right is if you're assuming how the piece is held in your hand. Like if it's a leg, this bottom part will be pointing downward. Therefore, if the bottom part or the middle part is pointing downward, that means the arrow is pointing downward. But that's not how it looks on paper. On paper, it looks more like a decrease or like this one looks like a decrease and this one looks like neither. So like, and they just get more confusing as they go. Like you do have to follow this circular pattern here. And I have no doubt in my mind that even people who like are very well experienced with patterns would probably have difficulty with this. Um, so yeah, already like I don't know how the pattern itself, like if the pattern was written down in a good method, like in a readable method or easily readable method would look. But already, I'm, like, rating this thing, like, a 2 out of 10. Um, yeah. Like, the pattern is not in a common method. So, the the stitches you're using, yes, they those are useful. Um, I don't know how useful this would be to people because it does look kind of confusing. But the actual act of learning those stitches and the techniques, yeah, that's good. And that's the only reason why I am giving this. A 2 out of 10. The actual pattern itself is not the way like any patterns are written as far as I'm aware. The symbols again as far as I'm aware are not um the chain stitch is the correct symbol the single crochet might be the correct symbol but the way that they are implementing them does not seem correct to me and that could just be because I'm not familiar are as familiar with this diagram method but it's just it's sloppy it doesn't look right and like some of these are so tiny that it's hard to see what they are supposed to be in person let alone on some paper and their symbols are so confusing about what's what for the diagram I just wish that there was more consistency and again Full disclosure, I'm not too familiar with the diagrams, so maybe I'm incorrect, and maybe they are doing it correctly, but this is not a good beginner regardless. Especially since the only guides they have are these little, little things right here to tell you what symbol is what. And again, it's hard to tell, like, what symbol that is, because that should be... 
Ugh, I hate that it won't focus, but it's an X with an arrow pointing upward. So that should be a decrease, but the written instructions say increase. So yeah, definitely it's just not a good pattern. It's not a good pattern for a beginner. Um, like the, I'm gonna make the plushie. I'm gonna make the plushie off screen, I guess. Um, I don't know. I might try to make it on here, but I'm gonna make the plushie and I'll let you guys know like how it turns out and how I'm like, I'll probably update in between while I'm working on it. But just right off the bat, looking at these instructions, they're not good. Um, they're hard to see. The instructions would definitely be confusing to a beginner. It's just, yeah, it's not good. That's, that's all I can say at this point. Before I really get started on this, um, I would just like to point out that this pattern does not say to use like a slip stitch and a chain one, or it doesn't say to use a stitch marker or anything. And that is something that is very important. So since they don't include any type of stitch marker or anything like that, and I don't know how much yarn I'm going to use of this, I'm going to take my black embroidery thread that is supposed to be used to put my face on, and I'm going to be using it as a stitch marker. I'm not going to cut it or anything. I'm just going to... Why is it tied up? Why? They tied it in a knot. They tied... They didn't wrap it around. They tied it in a knot. Are you kidding me? What the... F how? Oh my god. Okay. That was annoying. Um, I'm going to use this as a stitch marker. So I will now be showing how to do a magic ring and use a stitch marker, I guess. <laughs> so I know that the first stitch or the first row has six stitches in it. Um, it does mention doing like this and then taking it off your fingers and that's confusing. That's don't do that. What you're going to do is you're going to take your two fingers and you're going to hold the tail and your thumb between the two. And then you're going to wrap this yarn around your fingers, make an X over your tail and bring it around like this. So the bottom loop here, the loop that's closest to your knuckles should be um, your working yarn. And then you're going to slide up under the first loop, reach up, grab the second loop, pull through, and chain one. Well, hang on, I didn't leave long enough of a tail for myself, but, you know, tail, X over, under, over, pull through, and chain one. Oh my gosh, this is not shiny money. This is not fun to work with. So this hook is just bad. Um, you're, you're gonna hurt your wrists working with this. I'm not gonna lie. This is, it's flimsy. It's bent. It's not, it's not working. <laughs> it's this is just dang it, chief. Um, but you're gonna just go on ahead and do six single crochet for this specific one. And I'm not gonna do the whole pattern like this because it's not my pattern and I'm already worried about getting copyright claimed, but oh well. Um, so I have six stitches here. In order to use string or yarn as a stitch marker, you're just gonna put it through your loop in the center, pull your magic ring tight, and then, sorry, push your thread over, like that. So every time you do another round, you would just swap. Come on. This is so hard to work with. Like, I'm just saying, like, this hook is not, this hook is not really firm enough to go through the stitches, so it's not wanting to work. Um... But, so I have one stitch over it and that locks it in place. And then if you were ready for your next stitch, you would just bring it back over and so on and so forth. And you're just bringing it back and forth. And then when you're done, you can literally just pull it out and you're done. So 
that has been how to use a string as a stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and try to make these legs and then I will pop back over here, which I'm just going to say right now, like, I don't know. It looks like these legs are like actually not sewn onto the body and are a part of the body. Like you would stitch them in. I don't know how they're going to show how to do this with this pattern. Okay. So one thing that I noticed too, um, and I'm holding this, I'm holding the phone with my hand right now. <laughs> So I'm sorry if it's like shaky, but it says make two legs and link them together with the third round of the second leg. There is no diagram, no explanation, nothing of how it wants this to be done. It doesn't like even as an experienced crocheter, like how many stitches do you want me to put them together? Just one? More? Am I chaining them together? Am I like single just putting a single crochet on the other leg like I don't know what it is wanting from me um this is how my leg looks my first leg yeah and I hate this hook this hook is so hard to work with it keeps bending in my hands and it's just not very shiny money none of this is shiny money do not get this kit it is a crap kit crap kit so I'm gonna show you how I'm going to be attaching these two leg pieces together since um, that doesn't make any sense. And I don't know if I'm doing this the way the pattern wants to. Like full disclosure, I'm doing what I've done for other techniques. I, who knows if this is what the pattern wants and I don't care to be quite frank. Um, so here's my stitch marker right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my stitch marker, push it over and I'm going to go ahead and Put, so the first stitch of this, if I'm looking at the diagram correctly, is an increase. So I'm just going to put an increase right over here in the last stitch of my first leg. Which between the yarn being like much thinner than usual and the hook being flimsy is not easy. But anyway... Huh. I have no idea how to work this with a stitch marker. This is so confusing. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, I got an increase right there. Um, it's hard to note with the... Yeah. <laughs> I know this is confusing. I'm so sorry. It's hard for me to. Um, so basically, my stitch marker is over right there. It's not showing up the way I want it to just because of how the two legs are like this. Um, but moving on, next I'm just going to work the rest of my row, uh, so I'm going to work her around like this. One, two. And I can say, I, um, I am a member of this crochet discord server and I messaged in there with some pictures of the diagrams used in this pattern and um, the general consensus was that one they are bad and two that they give people headaches trying to figure out so <laughs> again um, and that server has people who are like all ages all skills so if they're also confused it's just not good let's see here one two three four five Them. Okay, so I'm going to do the same exact thing. Let me just make sure that this is actually like pulled over. So I'm going to do the same exact thing I did for the first one. I'm just going to come over here and go to my very next stitch on the other leg and go ahead and increase. Now doing so does leave this little gap here. So I'm going to sew this up when I get further into the body. Maybe. Can I even find the tail? Okay. You know what? Just know that um, whenever there's a gap like this, I am going to sew it up. So this will be not there. Which, as far as I can tell, it does not say to do that on these instructions. 
As far as I can tell, it does not say to sew up the gap. I know I keep saying that this is a bad pattern and that it's messy and stuff, but I, like, genuinely cannot stress enough, like, how bad this is. Um, like, the Dollar Tree, I've already done a video, um, you can check it out on my channel, where I basically just tested a bunch of crochet stuff from the Dollar Tree, and the general consensus was... You have to buy stuffing and a yarn needle at different locations, at least from mine. But, like, your hook and your scissors and your yarn can all come from the Dollar Tree itself. So, if you want to get into crochet, I cannot, in good faith, recommend this crochet kit here. Uh, you just need to make your own. Like, I know that it comes with all everything, everything you need for, um like a dollar twenty-five, but trust me, it's not worth it. It's just gonna make you never want to touch crochet again, or it's gonna make you think that you're bad at crochet and it's not your fault. Like, this kit is genuinely bad, and everybody who I have talked to about it also agrees that this kit is bad and not good. So don't blame yourself if you get a kit from the Dollar Tree and it sucks and you feel like you suck. Like, no, it's not your fault. You can only do as good as the materials as you're given. And quite frankly, these materials are crap. So if it doesn't look good, it's not your fault. So now we're going to go over how to change colors. So this is a continuous round work. It's not, um, it's not done with a slip stitch in a chain. And because of that, your line isn't going to be completely straight. That's why on all of my tutorials that have stripes, I tend to end my rows with a slip stitch and then a chain instead of, um, a continuous round. So what you're gonna do is on your final stitch of whatever color you want you're gonna start a normal single crochet stitch so inserting loop uh, yarn over pull through then you're gonna take the color that you're changing into and you're gonna put it on your hook and you're actually going to pull that through both loops to finish your single crochet. And now you're going to continue, as usual, working your ends in as you go. And that's how you change colors. An easy way. And then whenever you have your ends worked, you know, you can cut this one uh, at the length. I don't have scissors in here right now, so I'll do that in a second. But you cut it whatever length you need and um, just work it in. I will say too that's on me I should go get scissors but uh, the kit does not include scissors which I guess isn't surprising but that is another thing that um, one would need to purchase if you wanted to get this kit. Okay so it doesn't tell me where but it does say before I finish the head to put in the eyes and stuff it so Let's see here. Mm, I want this to be my front. And it looks like we're sitting about four rows down from the top. Now I haven't done my final, final row yet. So I'm going to do like three rows down from where I'm at. Hello? Please leave the bag. Hello? Let's, uh, let's try putting some eyes in, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna do one, two, three rows down. And since I don't know exactly where the eyes are supposed to be, I'm just guesstimating here and putting them where I want them. Let's see. Maybe about right here? Come on. These eyes are also, like, extremely hard to work with. I don't... I don't know why, but they're, like, really hard to work with. Where did it get? Yeah. That's, uh... That's good enough. So then to use safety eyes, you push your eyes wherever you want. You put them in, and then you take the backs, and you just 
push them on. Um, they do make tools to make it easier for people who struggle with doing stuff like that. There is like a, a safety eye putter on her. I don't know what it's called, but they do make a safety eye thingy that will push that part for you. Um, so if anybody struggles with that, those devices to help you do exist, I just don't know what they're called. Alright, and I think I will be proven wrong, hopefully, about there being more than enough stuffing. Um, this stuffing is really, really soft, actually. It's, like, really, really soft. Um, but it does expand quite a bit. Anyway... I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that is my cat kicking the wall out there. Um, their litter box is against the wall. So instead of like being normal and covering it, they like try to use the wall to cover their business. Like, I don't know, they're weird. Anyway, stuff in the head. This is how we're looking right now. Um, yeah. Once again, a lot of people in the Discord I'm in agree that this pattern is really weird. Um, and someone suggested actually taking and figuring out what the pattern is talking about and like writing it down on a piece of paper for yourself. So that way, um, that way you don't have to struggle trying to read these stupid tiny little diagrams and you can just go. Um, and honestly, if I ever do another one of these kits, I will be doing that. Uh, although I have to say, unless people on YouTube, unless you peeps want me to do another one of these kits, I ain't touching these things. I don't like them. Um, that said, this is where we're sitting at now. Um, I'm thinking about naming him Jared. Maybe Jerry. Anyway, I will update you guys when I get to the next part or whenever I'm ready to complain about this pattern again because I sure be loving doing that. Mm -hmm. Also, I would just like to say that like this is the diagram of what it says and like that's that's a mouse. Like I know I said it was a cat based off of the crochet item, but that that is wholeheartedly a mouse. That's not a cat. Anyway. Yeah, it looks like um, after I finish the body and stuff, I'll just be sewing it. Look at that. I just realized it's lopsided on that picture. Huh. Look at that. Loppy boy. Anyway, um, we will be coming back here. Either when it's done or when I have something else to complain about. This is a mess, but this is where we're sitting at now. Here are all of my pieces, and surprisingly, I have like a decent amount of this cream colored yarn and a little bit of pink left over. That's like genuinely surprising. But more surprising is that I actually had a decent chunk of stuffing left over. I was not expecting any stuffing. Um, I'm gonna keep my ears unstuffed, but my arms, my entire body, all of it's stuffed. Um, I also realized that I probably should have put my eyes on the other side and there is no tail for this cat so I don't know if I'm gonna put a tail probably not um but I am gonna go ahead and sew on my pieces and also sew this little gap here closed um anyway <laughs> I will possibly embroider a little bit of pink right here oops a little bit of pink right here just to make it more um cohesive to like not have such a sharp edge since I stupidly put my eyes on that side instead of this side um but I'm gonna go ahead and sew everything together and sew up the hole on the bottom and then um we're gonna come back and see how little Jerry looks this is how my cute little cat turned out. Um, here he is. Here's Jerry. I decided not to sew that to fix it. I'm just leaving it. Um, I have no intention of selling this. And in all honesty, I'll probably give it away. <laughs> but um, yeah, here's Jerry. Here's how he turned out. Um, okay. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cute. 
if you can figure out the pattern, I guess what it creates is kind of cute. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. I still rate it like a 2 out of 10. The method of which they use to diagram the pattern is trash. It's very hard to see, among other things. Um, and, like, the whole thing is confusing. They don't really give you proper instructions on how to do things like connecting the legs. It also never says to stuff the body. Like, obviously you're going to do that, but the instructions themselves never say to actually stuff the body. They only say to stuff the head. Um, so, yeah. It also doesn't really tell you where to change colors. You just kind of have to follow this and, like, assume where to swap your colors out. Um, and again, like, here's the assembly instructions. I guess technically it says to put stuff in here, but in the actual pattern itself, it doesn't say that. And you're going to want to stuff your body before you even start on your head. You're going to want to stuff your body before you even do your final decreases. Um, but yeah, I mean... The creature that was made, I mean, I think it's like, I don't know, 6 or 7 out of 10, but the actual pattern itself, the process of doing it all, it was just, it was bad. It sucked. Um, like, I don't know if it was even worth the dollar fifty or dollar twenty-five I spent on it. Like, the yarn is fine. I have this much leftover of, um the yarn and thread. I already showed how much uh, stuffing I had left over earlier, but like these, I'm never going to use this hook or this flimsy needle ever again. So these tools, like I cannot recommend these. And like, I know I have carpal tunnel, but I don't cramp that easily unless I'm working with bulky yarn usually. And this stupid flimsy hook made my hand cramp. Like, I had to take more breaks than I usually would. Because this thing is just... And it was so hard for me to, like, insert it into things. Because it just kept bending and it didn't want to cooperate with me. So, that was not good. In all honesty, the yarn, especially the white yarn, was frequently... Um, unspooling itself or untangling itself so like whenever I would run a hook through it um there's like each there's several strands to make one piece of yarn and whenever I would run a hook through it it would like unstrand itself like this so I would only get some of it and not all of it um on my stitches and I would have to go back and refix it um the stuffing was really nice though. Like this, this is like high quality stuffing. It feels really soft. I like it. I like the stuffing. But otherwise, don't. I know it's just a dollar and like 25 cents plus whatever tax you have to pay in your state. But like, don't waste your money on it. Like, I don't care if it's a, like a dollar fifty or less. Just don't. It's not worth it unless you're going to do something like what I'm currently doing and make a video over it. It's just. But, but we can go ahead and compare it, and, um, yeah, I was right. It is about the exact size of the image. So, um, it looks like whatever you get from these patterns, this is about what you expect size-wise. <sighs> that said, again, um, if you want it for the pattern itself, excluding everything else, just the pattern itself, and you're going to actually work it out ahead of time and write it down on a piece of paper or type it up so that way it's actually, like, easy to follow, then yes, it might be worth it because it's just, like, a buck for a cute pattern, semi-cute pattern. Like, okay, that's whatever, but I don't give this to a beginner. <laughs> If you try to give this to a beginner, they are going to hate crochet and probably not try it again because this was just, it was bad. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It was bad. I didn't like it. I would not recommend it to other people. The people in my crochet discord also agree that it's just not good. It's not a good diagram, not a good pattern. It just sucks. Um, with that said... 
I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and like, especially comment down below, like, what you want to see from this channel, like, what videos you want. Um, I am highly considering my next video and making that a, um, how to crochet Luffy from One Piece, like a, it would be kind of like a cute doll similar to this one, but Luffy. Um, I haven't decided for sure if I want to do that or not. Just comment down below if that's something that anyone would be interested in seeing. Um, because that's definitely what I'm leaning towards as my next video for right now. Anyway, um, I hope everybody has a lovely day or morning or night or evening or whatever time it is that you are watching this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe and have a good day.